In the future, our wireless communication networks will not only provide us with high-speed data, but also with some extra services. One of these services is accurate localization. Today, mainly GPS signals coming from satellites are used to provide localization services. However, this system doesn't work for inner locations and shows a low performance in very dense cities. Furthermore, the accuracy of GPS systems is not high enough to support future applications like autonomous cars and drones. Upcoming Massive MIMO-enabled 5G networks use a large number of antennas to beam the radio signals towards the intended user. This technique enables very efficient delivery of the transmitted data as the signal only travels to the target users instead of traveling to everybody. This is achieved by the use of measured channel state information. This information contains everything to know about the channel between the 5G base station and the user. It is obtained by sending a predefined message from the user to the base station and is calculated based on how the channel distorts this message. Since the system knows how to beam the signal towards the intended user, the localization information is implicitly known by the system. Here lies now the challenge to translate this implicit localization information to explicit information, namely the exact location of the users. Traditionally, this was performed using complicated algebraic algorithms, however, these methods only work well in the right conditions. Lately, some research has been done to extract the location from channel state information using AI, more specifically using convolutional neural networks. These networks are extremely good in solving tasks like identifying objects on pictures and videos. The neural network learns to do these tasks automatically by the use of labeled data. So, as a simple example, we can provide the neural network with thousands of pictures of cats and afterwards it is able to tell us with good confidence that this is indeed a cat. This principle is the same as what we applied to the positioning problem. We provided the neural network with more than 250,000 channel samples, each labeled with a highly accurate position. In this way, the AI is able to learn a localization model that can position a user within 2 cm inside our lab. As fantastic as this may sound, there are still a lot of challenges to be solved before you can use it to find your way out of your local IKEA. First of all, a new AI model has to be constructed for every location where such a system is deployed. Secondly, gathering the label data is very labor-intensive and therefore an expensive process. Lowering the need for label data is an open problem that is actively being researched. One of the techniques that is able to lower this need for data is transfer learning. This technique transfers the learned knowledge from a fully trained AI to a new AI that will be trained on data from the new location. This way, the AI doesn't need to start learning everything again from scratch. We have shown that we can reach accuracies of 5 cm while only using 5000 channel samples. In the end, combining AI and 5G will allow us to reach centimeter accurate positioning. However, the training data required is still too expensive to gather. Therefore, more research is needed to reduce this cost. My research focuses exactly on this. As a result, every new system will require less and less data, bringing the cost down and achieving a practical system that can be deployed in your area in the future. In this way, we are one step closer to a high-tech future where we can have autonomous cars and robots.